In this video I'm going to teach you how to use a push button. For this tutorial you'll need a breadboard, an Arduino, three jumper wires which are male to male, a tactile push button which fits into your breadboard and a resistor with a minimal resistance of 10k. And start this circuit by pushing my button into the breadboard like this and currently this pin is connected with this pin and this one with this pin. When I press the button these two become connected and these two become connected. So what we're going to do is connect the first pin to the 5 volt of the Arduino and then we use the green cable to connect this top pin to digital 12 of the Arduino. So you might think we're done now since the 5 volt stops here. When I press this button these two became connected but these two are also connected so the 12 receives 5 volt so we're done and we see a high. But there's a problem. When no button is pressed the 5 volt is over here and runs through to the other side where there's nothing connected. The 12 volt runs over here and is also connected to nothing. This creates a floating state for the 12 volt and we want to make absolutely sure that it's zero. So in order to do so we need to connect this pin 12 to the ground when in neutral state, when the button isn't pressed. Therefore we use our resistor. In this case this resistor works as a so-called pull down resistor. It actually pulls down the digital signal to the ground. So I connect this one to the ground and what happens now as you remember these two are currently connected when the button isn't pressed. So the 5 volt runs over here but cannot go any further but any current from the 12 goes through the switch through the resistor to the ground so it's pulled to zero. So now we have an absolute zero state. When the button is pressed the 5 volt runs over here goes to the 12 since there is no resistor between these two and there might be a little bit of current going to the ground but then pin 12 will be high. We can also do the opposite. If we change the 5 volt with the ground in this way now the, the pin 12 is always high since it's directly connected to the 5 volt. The 5 volt flows through the resistor through our button to the 12, so it's high. When the button is pressed, the 12 and the ground are connected. Oh, sorry, the 5 volt and the ground are connected via this button. So then the 12 becomes 0. So now it's working in an inverted way. It's always 1 unless you press the button. For now, I'm going to exchange these back to their original position. So now it's a pull down resistor and now we can go to the code and I'll show you how to program our Arduino. So this is the code of our switch. We have defined a variable called switch pin which we have set to 12 and that is the pin where we've connected our switch to. We also defined the built-in LED pin to use as an LED which makes it easier so we ha don't have to use an external LED and we define the switch state which is low by default. When we start our program we initialize the serial monitor and the serial monitor is a way where we can send back text from the Arduino to our computer. I'll show it later. We say the LED pin is an output pin the switch pin is an input pin and 
While we run the infinite loop, we start reading the digital state of the switch pin. We print this value to the serial monitor, and I'll show you that in a minute. If the switch state is high, so we press the button, then we make the LED high, and if it's low, we do the opposite. So I upload the code to my Arduino, and now when you go to Tools, you see an option called Serial Monitor. When I open it, you see a lot of zeros. Basically, every time the loop executes, it prints the switch state. Now, when you press your button, you see that it prints a 1 for high. When I release it, you see 0. The nice thing about this serial monitor is that you can actually see what is happening on your Arduino. While testing my sketch, I noticed I've put this 5 volt not in the 5 volt but in the other ground, so I moved it one position to the left. But then when the sketch is uploaded to my Arduino, you see the LED over here is turned off. When I push the button, it's turned on, as we defined in the code. So when I switch these two lines, the ground and the 5 volt, you'll see that the LED is lit here. But when I press the button, it's going to low. So now we have inverted our switch. So you can choose to either do an inversion with the high and low in our if statement, or you can just change the pull down resistor into a pull up resistor. That's it for today. See you next time.